Okay, guys, so by this time, you probably would have already taken a look at this due dates announcement. If not, you'll take a look at it right before or stop what you're doing now. Look at that first, then look at this back at this video. So the reason there's some confusion here with with the due dates. And I think that's why um, you remember back in the very beginning on the introduction to the class when I went through um, and I, I showed you guys around the project brief. And I did it in the last video too, just, just as a refresher, but it's at the left-hand side, it's under course home, it's project brief and it gives you all of your due dates. So that's pretty important. Now, um, right now I'm still, I'm seeing some people are turning in what was due this, this week. Um, I know it's weird. We have tasks for milestone two due during week one, milestone one week. Subsequently, we're going to have tasks due for Milestone 3 during this week for Milestone 2. So this happens again and again, and it continues like that through the rest of the course. So be aware of that. And that's why that project brief schedule is so specific to indicate those due dates. Um, one of the reasons we do this is because this very effectively mimics a real world scenario in a studio. And that is that you're, you won't be sitting still in a studio. You'll be working all always. So you're going to be working several different projects at the same time. And also you're going to be working the same project, but different steps of the same project, not unlike we're doing right here. Okay. So this mimics a real world, real life studio situation quite nicely, I might say. So um, there might be some confusion, but nothing that you're not going to see in a, a, in a career as a designer. Okay. So all right, so let's take with that, let's go ahead and jump over to milestone two. And this makes me wonder if if I should just do these announcements on like Monday to get everything in. Um, let me know what you guys think if it would be easier like that. Otherwise, I'll just keep the announcements coming on the first day of the week. I usually post the announcements on Wednesday night. The beginning of the new week is Thursday. So it's there for you guys Thursday morning, bright and early when you jump into milestone two. At least that's the intent. Okay, so Milestone two, we're gonna be do we're gonna be doing um, the the uh, paper here. Let's just jump over to milestone two, task one. This is the research paper, and <clears throat> for those of you who have got your work in, that's awesome. Um, there's a few who have submitted. For those of you who want to, to take a look at those submissions before you submit your own, that's perfectly perfectly fine. And don't forget, here's your sample paper right here. You're gonna need that sample paper moving into milestone three and milestone four as a type of uh, like a template for you to, to refer to, um, if you might, you may need it. I mean, if you want to use your submission for the first week's spread of the zine as your as your template, you know what I'm saying? Your sample paper, your prep work for the first spread of the um, the zine. If you want to use that next week, what I'm saying is you don't necessarily have to use this. You can use your own work as a template if you follow the specs of the sample paper. So your call doesn't matter. Um, anyways, um, basically, you've got the, the research and the paper, okay, then you've got, and if anybody doesn't understand where we're making connections here, come down here and take a look at these videos right here. All of these yellow tabs are, are my responses, and they're all, there's videos in every one of those. So the, take a look at those, because if, if you're having trouble understanding the project, take a look at those, and it, it, it'll help explain looking at a a completed research paper and some examples actually over here in M2 task two, milestone two task two, there's thumbnail sketches and the same students have already posted in there. So that's a really cool thing. You can go right in there and take a look at a look at their report, their research at their report, then look at their sketches and look at my responses to both. Okay, really super important that that um, that you understand that's there for you as a resource. That's why it's an open forum in the class, you're free to go in each other's forums and look at um, posts. And I, I think you should. I think it's a great way to learn. Okay, so in M, uh, M2 task two, we've got the, the thumbnail sketches. So be sure to, to follow those eight and a half by 11. Watch your, your orientation. It's eight and a half by 11 typically, well, not typically, but always in graphic design or any design, the width always comes first. Okay, so eight and a half by 11 would indicate eight and a half width by 11, which would indicate what some people call portrait. Most of the time designers call that a, a vertical orientation. Uh, 11 by eight and a half would be called a horizontal orientation. Typically designers don't use the word portrait and landscape. So if you want to keep that in mind, uh, two pages with four thumbnails per page. Um, 
Okay, so, and again, there's some examples down there, for which is really, really super great. So anyways, um, and then M2 task three, which is due Friday. Oh, right here, Friday. Um, and then feedback is due Monday, the 22nd. I'm just looking right over here for those of you who are. Well, my screen doesn't get that big. Not my screen. I just have this opening a little bit too small. So sorry about that. But anyways, that's where I'm at right over here. Steps for success in tasks, task three, design of pages two and three. Okay. Then your final submission, of course, is due Sunday. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Wednesday, that's the last day of next week. I'm, t I'm usually used to saying Monday, uh, Sunday, because typically weeks start on Monday. At least mine have. But anyways, this one started on a Thursday. So Wednesday is the sec the sixth day, uh, uh, the last day of week two. That's when it's due. All right. Now, keep in mind, guys, I'm going to jump over to milestone three here. All right. I am in milestone three, as you can see right here. I'm in milestone three. and I'm going to go over to uh, M3 task one. And I want you to take a look at the due dates. There it is in black and white, the 22nd, okay? And, and the 24th for your, um, your feedback. So that, again, falls during, that's milestone three tasks that fall during milestone two. Please keep that in mind. Um, and then, of course, milestone three, task two, Watch your due dates there. So I guess I guess what I'm saying is just watch your due dates, guys. See, the 26th, and then Monday the 29th, Friday the 26th. But, okay, so, and then, of course, you can get kind of like a master schedule by coming right over here and jumping over to this project brief right up here up under the course homepage, and then here's your master schedule for each of those um, corresponding weeks. Okay, and here you can see your crossovers Thursday the 11th, and then uh, here's the 17th, and, and, and then you have back to milestone two, May 13th. So you can see that the, you're, you're studying concurrent or working on concurrent tasks. Okay, hope that makes sense. If it doesn't get with me, I'll clarify that. It's critical. It's really super important. Otherwise, stuff's going to come in late. All right, so that is, and then don't forget milestone three again is, let's jump to milestone three, task one, and we can see that that is again a research paper and thumbnails. This time you're turning both in. Task two is gonna be the design of pages four and five. Okay, so note that come milestone three, you're, you're combining two tasks. So you only have two tasks in milestone three instead of three, because you're combining one and two. You're combining the uh, research paper and the thumbnails into milestone three task one research research paper and thumbnails. I guess that makes sense, right? Um, so at any rate, there, there's we have what we have for for week for milestone two. And again, guys, if the scheduling, if anything doesn't make sense, let me know, and I can surely point you in the in the right direction. Otherwise, let's get those um, M two task one and M two task two submitted. Let's go get those things in quickly. Um, I, I could give a little bit of leeway since it was week, week one, and I think a lot of people kind of found it a little confusing that we're jumping into week two tasks in, during week one. So I'm going to give a day leeway. I, I mentioned in the last video that I would give to Thursday night. So by Friday morning, that stuff has got to be in because I will grade it then. Okay, and that's absolutely the latest I can give, all right? Um, all right, guys, questions, comments, concerns, anything at all, please get with me, and uh, I'll be right with you. All right. Good job, guys. See you in discussion boards. Thanks.